Alan, the food dude is here. He's never brought us Captain Crunch or Raisin Bran. He's always bought us uh, brought us something really good to eat that always comes from his kitchen and usually his backyard. <laughs> In many, many cases, yes. Yes, uh, yes. Last week, the turkey did come from a grocery store. Uh, oh, my okay. backyard, so you know. So last week we we t- we uh, dove right on in with uh, turkey leg. Which yeah, you great. brought in that well, giant I, turkey. You, you watched me devour it. I, 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 just, <laughs> I, I was like, Tim just had the best time in the world. So this week I decided to take on one of the most maligned additives to to turkey ever, and that would be the cranberry sauce. Uh, now, Danny, I'm giving mine to Jeff Brightwell. I can't do it. She looked at it and said, "No." You can- <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm not a dressing person or a stuffing person. Oh. oh. <laughs> I mean, he would be. No, and honestly, I'm just being nice. You know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to change that to uh, my five. There we go. All right. Oh, okay, yeah. I, li- I like the cranberry sauce, there. and I like, I don't want the, uh, so, I mean, this looks good. It's fresh, but, man, you just dump that out of the can. I just, uh, I'm on that. No, I, no, I want no, the can stuff. stuff. Not, nothing here came out of a can. But I've got to no, ask. No, I know that. I absolutely yeah. promise you. I, I do have to ask Danny from 98 One The Max. She joins us every morning here for the final word. Uh, do you not like to make stuffing, or you just don't like to eat it? Eat it. Okay, but you don't mind making it, or do you do you just buy it? You know, is that is that something that you <laughs> still don't like it? No, no. That's not I am the cause... most blessed person and thankful person on Thanksgiving. You have somebody cook it for you. I show up at mom's. Yeah. Well, she don't let us in the kitchen, and I don't know what I'm going to do when you she's gone. You walk in the house and the smell. Oh, like, oh. And it's just, barrel. She's yeah. been doing it for cracker days. Barrel. Yeah, there's a police called Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <Danny. laughs> I, I think Popeye's chicken is now doing yeah. Thanksgiving dinner, so you know that'll be Danny. Well, that <laughs> <laughs> the turkey, the dressing, those are two of my favorites, and this smells great. And that's what we do. We go to the in-laws, and mm-hmm. it is totally worth the passive aggressiveness that you have to hear around you. <laughs> yeah. Just sit down. I mean, Wait, like, I never recognize you at the same table as me on Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like turkey with a side of infighting. Yeah, you got to get the edges, too, yeah, because the edges are where the crust are. Have you ever heard of dressing balls? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You ball it up so everybody's what? got the crust. Yeah, you ball it up, throw it on there, and put it in the oven so everybody's got crust. Mm-hmm. Yep. It, it, it's like that's not like the ball, I, man ball we talked about earlier. Or it's, a man cup. It's like a Thanksgiving hush puppy. <laughs> you yeah, wait. There you go. <laughs> well, all right. As as Jeff was bringing out, most people think of cranberry as that something that came out of a can. Which is easily sliced. The can. It's there's delicious. a lot to be said for the can. It, it, you, it, I know where to cut it. out of the can and all that. And that as it falls out. Well. Without breaking it. You yeah, win. Yeah, with, oh. <laughs> if Jello could only oh, be so congruent. I'm, I'm actually twitching over here. It's like, oh, gosh. All right. All right. This is like discovering that there is tuna beyond something that came out of a can. The amazing I know Danny's whatever. blinking at me blankly at this point. You know, there, there is a real fish. You mean fish. chicken in the sea? Yeah, there, there is a real fish behind this. Oh. And this is fresh cranberry. This is Actually, really fresh cranberry. Good. With a dash of mandarin orange. Wow, this is good. And it is shockingly simple to make. How? It, yeah, I was going to ask you, how do you prepare fresh cranberry? I don't know if that's something that has to be heated. Do you have to let it linger? First you do grow you have it in to, your backyard. Do you have to <laughs> let it linger? Do you have to let it linger? I love you, Tim. Okay, well... Right now, this time of year, of course, everybody has the bags of cranberry sauce sitting there. And they just kind of look at it. And, and most of y'all, if you've ever bought one of these things and tried like a fresh cranberry, it, it is like eating an Alka-Seltzer. You got to dump a ton of sugar. In it, it's kind of like, Lord have mercy. How did this become a superfood? However, you got about 12 ounces of cranberry in the bag, a cup of water, a cup of sugar, and... A nice 10 to 20 minute simmer. So you do have to let it cook down. Let it linger a for a little bit. bit. It's got, you got to break down the cranberries. So we got so it, crunchy. Tim. Linger, cranberries. We I got can't it. Look at Danny right now. <laughs> hey, great song, too, by the way. Sorry. Anyway, guys. go ahead. And Alan, you were saying? Well, you know. Y'all just have a good time with this. Good, cause, cause, uh, I'm already looking down stuff, here. Man, Jeff, is, Jeff is down here tapping his wrist. Going, you, got, you got another <laughs> bag of that down here I somewhere? Had a, I had a... Feeling that he would just yeah, have I love dressing, was, man. I like it better than the turkey. A lot of times, yeah, a lot of times, it's got that good sage flavor to it. It's ready to go. So that was just, honestly, that was just French bread, chicken broth, and some sage. 
easy, easy, easy stuff. So that wasn't cornbread or biscuits. Okay. No. Why would I bring you Stouffer's? <laughs> Why would I do so that? You use French bread and what? Just French bread. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm used to the cornbread dressing with the right, biscuits. Right, well, Jeff's over here. He wants stuff. a damn recipe, man. It, 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 it. Right, you, know, you get like your French French bread and just right. slice it like you're going to do Texas toast. I'm not let sophisticated it dry enough to have French bread you, on you hand. Just, you just <laughs> chop it up and get into little little, right. little little squares. Let it dry out. Let it linger. Yep, let it linger. Uh, dust it down with a little, little sage, a little salt, a little pepper. And for about every three cups of the dried bread, you need about one cup of water. Yeah. And about eh, half a stick of butter. Yeah, it's bad when you get a hold of some dressing, man, and they put too much liquid in it. Yeah, well, that's, that's called. It's that, like, hey, uh, man, I don't want cornbread that's, soup. That's, that, why that's called a bad like bread it. pudding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's nasty. You need a different stuff. Are there eggs in this? No. Okay. Because. I like dressing, but I don't like. The <laughs> phrase like, I've got an allergy. Yeah, yeah. Like, thanks, I'm, Alan. I'm, you I'm just killed turning, Tim Van Horn. I, I love to start turning purple here in a minute. Yeah. I, no, I love dressing, but I don't like the white chunks that stick out of the dressing. I'm kind of a texture guy, and I don't mm-hmm. like. I don't like the feel well, of that. Yeah, I don't like Thanksgiving yeah. gravy with egg in it. I'm, talking I'm about that. feelings of stuff in your I'm mouth. It's like I'm out, and I don't want to talk about this anymore. All right, well, you get it. All right, there is a huge science to the whole bit of mouth texture. If you want to hear the most bizarre conversations you ever want to have, work in a test kitchen. That is hilarious, the conversations you will have. Because it is down to what kind of crunch did it have. Because a lot of people really love to chuck in a bunch of celery. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 into yeah. the, into the dressing had the celery in it, and that is again. That but is when a, you heat up celery, doesn't it kind of lose the crunch? And I don't like that thread. So, the th- what's the thread ex- in there? There you go. And, the and there's yeah. the three <laughs> celery thread. <laughs> and it's there's that love hate. It's either my parents always made it with it, or what did you just do to this? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Of a lot of people put in chestnuts, so that gives you that. It's almost like hitting a piece of wood. <laughs> when you're like chewing through kind of a soft bread, and it's like crunch. Like what? And what was that? Of uh, a lot of people like to throw in a uh, boiled egg, which again is a is kind of a weird texture when you're working with something that's more like a bread pudding. Mm-hmm. Don't get too fancy with it. Just leave it the, just leave it the bread and the simple, chicken broth. Simple, simple, I don't yeah. need nuts yeah. in but, it. I don't want pineapple in yeah, it. I don't want all this nonsense yeah. in it. All right, we're gonna post up this on our social <laughs> at News Talk ninety eight nine. And, uh, Alan, if they want to reach out with more of your recipes, of course, they can always go to the Cooking Today Show. They can, thecookingtodayshow.com, and follow along with our little misadventures and uh, download some recipes. And Newstalk989.com will post this up there as well today.